Welcome to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, where we bring you all the highlighted action of the Southern University football program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, the Louisiana Lottery, Amerigroup Insurance, Communities of Color Network, Tobacco Free Living, and Jerry Lang Chevrolet. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show here with Coach Dawson Odoms, uh, where you get the inside scoop of all Southern University sports. Uh, we come to you live here at Martha's Bistro, located at 19900 Old Scenic Highway in Zachary, Louisiana. Uh, also, you can also catch this show every week, tape um, 9 p.m. on Mondays on Cox 4 and as well as on Cox 1004 with a repeat on Cox 4 1004 on Saturdays at 5 p.m. Uh, you can also catch the show on KPBN, uh, Pelican Sports TV, Cox 113, and as well as on Cox 1013 in HD on Tuesdays at 7.30 and Wednesdays at 5.30. Uh, this also is streamed online at pelicansportstv.com and as well as at the same times as the show and like last year, you can catch the show on the Jaguar Journal, Jaguar Football Show YouTube channel, as well as the Jaguar Football Show Facebook page. And, uh, and just like any true Jaguar fan, be sure to share it with all of your friends and family. Uh, so, Coach, we welcome you to the 2017 season. Uh, we get ready to look for South Carolina State this weekend. Uh, but before we go into that, how was your summer? Well, you know, we spent a lot of time trying to work on several things, getting these guys ready to play. But at the end of the day, it was just try to get some relaxation in and just enjoy a little downtime because you got to get fresh for the start of 2017, and we're looking forward to that season. And so we talk about no spring ball once again this season, and the Jags coming back in reporting the fall count. Uh, talk about how spring ball, without having that spring ball, what does that do for your team as you came into fall count? Well, it puts you a little behind the eight ball, but you know you got to deal with the hand that's been dealt to you. So we try to make the best out of it. The good thing is we had some practice that really understanding how to go forward without having spring ball. We try to get our guys situated over the summer, get them ready to go. It's all about mental, the mental aspect of the game, just focusing on the mental aspect. We did that throughout the spring, also throughout the summer. Now we got into fall camp. Hopefully guys are ready to go from a mental standpoint. Now, you didn't have spring ball, but you also had uh, NFL Pro Day. You had NFL scouts, over 20 scouts come out and be able to showcase and check out some of the talent of your players, guys like uh, Willie Quinn and Lenore Artillery. Uh, let's check out that video. Well, you see right there, Lenore Artillery is working on what we call the broad jump. And he's under there getting a little 225 test in. He had an outstanding career, you know, he's doing well. I uh, hope to get a chance to see him this preseason. The last preseason game is usually when those uh, free agents get a chance to play. You know, he's with the Rams and doing a fantastic job for them. And we're just excited for the career he had at Southern University, but also with the future, with the bright future he had with the St. Louis Rams. And so we see him right here trying to push out. You know, Tillery was signed with the Los Angeles Rams, but have you heard anything in terms of Willie Quinn's status? Well, he's had a couple of chances. I think he had a chance with the New York Jets, had a chance with the Chicago Bears. You know, it, it's about somebody giving him opportunity, but at the end of the day, if it doesn't work out in the NFL, I think he'll have a bright CFL career. He's an outstanding football player, had a great career on the bluffs of the Mississippi, and we we'll truly miss both of those guys, but what an exciting time they gave all our fans. And have you had a, any other status in terms of any other former players uh, on the next level? Well, you know, we all have some current guys that's already out there. You have a big tight, Rashad Allen, who's with the Houston Texans. Arthur Molly is back with the Carolina Panthers. Mike Jones is having a great career in the CFL. So, you know, I think it's about the window of opportunity. All you can do as a coach is showcase the players that you have. And you know what, when they get on that platform and they get their pro day, it's all up to them. And both of those guys had a great pro day. That's why they got the opportunity to, to play on Sundays. And what was it like? This was the first year you was able to have pro day on campus with the new turf. Uh, typically, you're having to do it off campus, but now being able to have it on campus, how is that? Well, it's a great selling point to the program. And, you know, we also look at the recruiting trail. The spring is past. Uh, did we get any kids that we needed as well as any transfers? Well, you know, I really thought we did a great job of signing the class, you know, bringing in the right, right guys. And 
Also, just making sure that we continue to mix in a couple of transfers. Didn't get as many as we'd like, but we still got a good football team ready for 2017. And do you see any projections in terms of this team being better this year? And how do you see it going? Well, I look forward to it. I think if we stay healthy, we got a great chance. Okay, well, we're about to get ready to take a break. Uh, stay tuned. It's more of the Jaguar Football Show. Biggest scratch off game of the season is here. It's Saints Game On from the Louisiana Lottery. Your chance to win up to $100,000. Scratch the back for an extra game. Enter the second chance drawings for VIP suite experiences, a deluxe limo experience, a tunnel team experience, official autograph team merchandise, and the grand prize, a 2018 season ticket package. Play Saints Game On from the Louisiana Lottery for your chance to make this your winning season. Back here at Marcus Bistro, located at 19900 Old Scenic Highway here in Zachary, Louisiana. I'm here with Coach Dawson Odoms. Uh, Coach, fall camp is upon us, and talk about some of the players uh, in terms of what we're looking for this season with the Jaguars. Well, you got, uh, starting on the defense side of the football, I really think we got some guys that have played a lot of snaps for us. Danny Johnson, who's a leader in that secondary. Who we hopefully have a great senior season. He's done a fantastic job. Aaron Till is one of those guys that is probably one of the top sack guys to, to come through Southern. He's got a chance to probably finish as, as the top guy. Danny has a chance to be the top interception guy. Katavis Preston is a linebacker that's been in the top in total tackles. So we're looking for those three guys to really provide the leadership on defense. Offensively, we return our senior quarterback, Austin Howard, guy that's got Great leadership. He's won a lot of football games, and I'm looking for him to have a year that probably many people anticipate him having. I want to see him, you know, really take the next step in leadership and really just run the blue machine like he's always done. He is a he has the potential to be really, really great. Also on that side of the ball, you got offensive linemen, Skylar Pro and Rodriguez, Christian Rodriguez, guys that are two seniors that's played a lot of snaps for us and doing a fantastic job up front. We had to replace uh, three guys in that starting lineup, but those two guys have provided some leadership. Tight end Dylan Beer is another guy that's doing an outstanding job. I'm excited where he is. He's made some plays, and we're going to need them guys to make some plays. And, and then we got some other seniors that, is, that has to contribute this year if we want to have the kind of success that we're used to having on the bluff. Now, we have some video from the last fall scrimmage uh, that you kind of opened up to the media. Uh, let's take a look at that as we go through. Uh, talk about some of the guys right here and who to look for uh, making some big plays. Well, that right there is a nice pass to, uh, to Cheney, who's done, done a great job in count, working hard. Freshman kicker kicking it through the uprights. You know, but again, offensively it starts with, with Austin Howard, and I think he's ready to, to be the great leader and play beyond what we've seen him play before in the past. So I'm excited to kick things off this Sunday. And defensively, you, you got some guys out there that really hunts the football. And I think that's going to be probably starting out as a strong suit. But I really think our offense is not going to miss a beat because we have one of the better quarterbacks in, in the conference, it's not in the country. Now, we talk about Austin Howard, but who's the number two guy that you're looking at? You have a quarterback battle that's going on for the number two spot uh, with guys like Bubba McDaniel and Dark Wesley and so many others. Talk about how that battle's been going throughout the camp. Well, McDaniel's been taking the reps as the number two as we get prepared for South Carolina State. You know, it really wasn't a wide margin. Uh, I really think that he just felt more comfortable in the huddle and has done a great job when he's been in there. John Lampley did a great job and also Dark Wes Lee, but Bubba McDaniel is the guy that's been taking the number two reps going into camp. And we look at the defensive side of the ball, you also talked about a guy like Danny Johnson, but a guy like Aaron Tiller as well. Uh, what are some guys to look for on that side of the ball that you're looking to make an even bigger impression this year? Well, I think you got to look at some of those down the line guys. Uh, Jamar Mitchell, who's starting on the other side of, 
uh, Danny Johnson, he's got a chance to make some plays. Augustine, Montavious Gaines, two of the previous safeties I think you will see in college football. They has the size, has the mental ability. Now can they put it all together and make plays? I really think we're deep up front. It's one in the trenches. Uh, we got right now on the roster 24 defense alignment, so we got to find eight to 10 that can make plays for us. If we do that, I really think our defense has a chance to be very successful this year. Hey, Coach, we'll just talk more about the fall practice and looking forward to, uh, to the season right after this. Stay tuned. It's the Jaguar Football Show. I have two kids, and like any mom, I want them to be healthy. So I chose Amerigroup Louisiana for our Bayou Health Plan. We get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage. But you know what I really like? I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits. Choose Amerigroup Louisiana. Call 1-855-BUY-YOU-4-YOU today. That's 1-855-229-6848. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African-American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Hi, I'm Coach Dawson Odoms, and if you're looking for a great new or used car, Jerry Lane Chevrolet invites you to come and check them out. Whatever your taste in vehicle is, they got a great lineup to fit your style, and most importantly, your budget. Personally, they're taking care of me with this great truck. I'm a big guy, and this a big truck. It's roomy and comfortable, and it has to get up and go when I need to get up and go. So remember, whatever your taste in vehicles, come visit us at Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Go Jags! Football show. We're here at Marcus Bistro located at 19900 Old Scenic Highway in Zachary, Louisiana. Uh, Coach, we've been, pretty much talked about fall camp, uh, but every week in the segment we'll like to have the Alpha Media uh, Player of the Week as well as the Coca-Cola Player interview. Uh, Coach, each week we'll also award a Player of the Week uh, for offense as well as defense and uh, as well as special teams. Uh, so far, uh, who has been the players of fall camps on offense, defense, and as well as special teams for you? Well, really, you know, I think that on offense has been uh, quarterback Austin Howell's done a great job in, in leading the blue machine. Defensively, uh, it's been uh, probably Danny Johnson who's really improved and gotten better on the defense and probably Aaron Tiller as well. So those two guys have really had tremendous camps. Special teams, James Todd, who's taken over snapping duties this year, came into camp. You can tell he's worked on his craft, really done a great job, and we look forward to him continuing that great job in 2017. Well, we had a chance to catch up with Austin Howard, the leader of the offense, as well as Danny Johnson, the leader of the defense during fall camp. Uh, let's check it out. Jaguar Nation, I'm here with the quarterback, Austin Howard, a senior, four-year starter. Last year, 2,650 yards, about a 60% completion rate, 29 touchdowns, eight interceptions. Austin Howard, the first thing we want to ask you is, how do you – maintain that level of productivity that you had last year. Literally, you could have been the SWAC player of the year uh, with, that, with those kind of numbers. How do you maintain that level of productivity with a new cast of offensive weapons? Um, just trust the process. You know, it don't matter who's, who's I'm th who I'm throwing to, or, you know, who I'm giving the ball to. I mean, you know, if you just trust the process and just do what your coaches ask, then everything else will fall into place. Okay. The process, trust the process. As quarterback, Austin, do you feel uh, a lot of pressure to put the team on your back as the leader? Uh, no, sir. Uh, I mean, I've been playing quarterback all my life, so I've always been a leader. I mean, you know, it's just my senior year. I mean, it, it's, it's no difference, you know, so I mean. No pressure. I, no pressure. I've been doing this thing since I was a kid. Austin, how do you see the SWAC schedule playing out? Last year we were undefeated until the Bayou Classic. This year, how do you, what's your prognosis for the Jaguars and the SWAC campaign? I mean, we just focus on one game at a time, or well, really one day at a time. But, you know, as far as games, we just focus on South Carolina State. And then, 
whoever after that, that's who we'll focus on. So, you know, I'm not really worried about the year. I'm just worried about the first game, South Carolina State. Okay. Uh, I said last question, but I do have another question for you. Austin, literally, if you just have an average Austin Howard season, you could be the Southern University all-time passing leader. Has that crossed your mind? Um, <laughs> I mean, records are made to be broken, but I mean, you know, is is the ultimate goal is to get the SWAT championship. So, I mean, personal records is all right, but I'm never okay with being average. So. You ready for a ring? Yes, sir. All right. Well, thank you, man. Good luck to you this year. Jaguar Nation, I'm now here with number one in your program, Danny Johnson, uh, the all SWAC Southern University cornerback, a young man who had seven interceptions last year and actually led FCS, Football Championship Series schools with interceptions. So, uh, bright future for uh, Danny Johnson and, of course, a leader for the Jaguar football team. Danny, the first question for you is, what are the keys to your success? To my success is just working hard, you know, every day, going out to practice, just practicing how I want to play in games, you know, just playing fast, making sure I communicate with the rest of the team, you know, make sure we're all on the same page, and that's what just helped me play fast. Danny, what does the defense have to do to get back to the SWAC championship this season? As a whole, we just got to communicate better. Last year, I felt like we had a young, lot of young guys that just stepped up and made plays. But this year, I feel like we got a lot of guys that return and they know what they're doing. They can play with more confidence and play faster. I just feel like we got to take it to the coaching. Everybody just has to buy into the system, and I feel like we'll be good this season. This is your senior season. Uh, playing at the next level, playing in the NFL is a strong possibility for you. Um, how do you deal with that? Do you let it motivate you, or do you kind of put it out of your mind? How do you deal with the prospect of uh, being an NFL draft pick? You know, it, I use it as motivation. You know, it's in the back of my mind, but I just feel like I can't just go out there and just slack off because I, you know, I've been hearing it. But I just got to continue to work, you know, trusting God's plans. You know, if it's meant for me, it's meant for me. But just going out there and just working hard every day and working towards those goals, I feel like that's the keys to my success and working towards the NFL. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. No problem. That's it. Back to you, Coach. Type of players having a guy like Austin Howard as well as Danny Johnson on the football team representing the Jags. We'll have more here at the Jaguar football show after this. Show. We're located here at Martha's Bistro at 19900 Old Scenic Highway. I'm here with Coach Odoms. Uh, Coach, it's been a, we've actually had a chance to see the spring camp uh, as well as pro day and then now coming into fall camp. Uh, you kind of highlighted and went through guys to look forward to like a Danny Johnson, like a Austin Howard. Uh, but you as a coach, we had a chance to catch up. Todd actually kept, had a chance to catch up with uh, legendary head coach Marino Chasm. Uh, let's get a chance to check it out and see what he had with it. Hey, Coach Odoms, I'm here with one of your predecessors, the one and only godfather, the legendary SWAC coach, Coach Marino Chasm. Coach Marino Chasm had a legendary career of course at Alcorn but in 1986 he came to the bluff and he actually coached the Jaguars and had to go back to the reservation as the leader of the Jaguars. Coach talk to us a little bit about coming to Southern and then becoming a coach and part of the Southern fabric. Well it's nothing like uh, the Southern clientele. You know the Southern nation. I call it the clientele. The Jaguar nation. <laughs> the Jaguar nation. 
They're a great, 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 great group to perform for. They're really uh, savvy about, about the athletics. Coach, talk about transitioning from coach to athletic director and being an administrator and not being on the field and in control of the team. Well, you know, a lot of people talk about people retiring too soon and leaving the game and all that. My wife has a great adage, and she said, I hear that every night in our bedroom, every night. She said, leave the field, leave the stage while they're still applauding. That's a nice accent. <laughs> Coach, you had players that went to the NFL at Alcorn. You had some really good players at Southern University. Talk about some of the best players you had at both Alcorn and Southern. Well, you're not going to get me in trouble with this. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit much. We had great players all the way around. All the way around. We had great players. Yeah. You, can't, uh, you can't be successful if you don't have a, a, uh, a market marketable football player. You got to have people who can play. Coaching is a great profession. The only, you say the word coach, and it's recognized throughout the world. In, in Africa, Chinese, Egypt, uh, Russia. Right. Wherever you go, coach is understood. You know what a coach is. It's a great, great profession. The only name that I place above the coach, Pope. <laughs> the Pope. Well, there you have it. From the godfather, Coach Marino Kassam, who coached a bunch of NFL players and coached against a bunch of NFL players. Thank you, Coach. My pleasure. Thank you. All right. You know, to be able to have a, a legendary coach like Marino Kassam, what does it mean for guys who paved the way for coaches like yourself here today? Well, you know, I really think when you look at the overall picture of some of the legendary coaches that came before myself, I think the what they endured and how they had to get ready, you know, not having a lot. If you talk to them, you understand that you just got to win with what you got. And these guys took a little bit and made a lot out of. But it's all about being a mentor to young men. And I think when you have that first and foremost, winning will find you. And that's what the legendary coaches, all of them had that same ingredient. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing because one day hopefully you'll be sitting in that same spot giving one of those legendary speeches. But uh, we'll be back right back here for the Jaguar football show after this. I have two kids. And like any mom, I want them to be healthy. So I chose Amerigroup Louisiana for our Bayou Health Plan. We get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage. But you know what I really like? I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits. Choose Amerigroup Louisiana. Call 1-855-BAYOU-4-YOU today. That's 1-855-229-6848. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Hi, I'm Coach Dawson Odoms, and if you're looking for a great new or used car, Jerry Lane Chevrolet invites you to come and check them out. Whatever your taste in vehicle is, they got a great lineup to fit your style, and most importantly, your budget. Personally, they're taking care of me with this great truck. I'm a big guy, and this a big truck. It's roomy and comfortable, and it has to get up and go when I need to get up and go. So remember, whatever your taste in vehicles, come visit us at Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Go Jags! We're here at Martha's Bistro, located at 19900 Old Scenic Highway. I'm here with Coach Odoms. Uh, your first game coming up in the Swag Miak Challenge uh, against South Carolina State. Uh, talk about the importance of your fans showing up and why they need to be there. Well, the biggest thing is that you got an opportunity to sell your program. 
You know, you got a chance to be nationally televised. You got a chance for Jaguar Nation to really show what made it Jaguar Nation. You know, I was watching that uh, Florida a and game against Texas Southern, and it was pretty hot out there, and they had a nice, decent crowd. We've been talking about the heat. Look like we're going to get blessed with some great weather. Probably going to be overcast, maybe a little wet. But, you know, I hope the jungle's rocking, and I hope it's full. But I think it gives us an opportunity to start the year off with the right way. We want all our season ticket holders to show up, and all those fans that just may want to come out and watch the team play. There's no better place to watch a football game than on the bluffs of the Mississippi River at 135, September the 3rd, when we take on South Carolina State. We welcome all of you, and we look forward to seeing you in the stands. Now, you talk about South Carolina State is the first game, uh, but you go through the season, you go on the road for the next two weeks at South Southern Miss and as well as University of Texas San Antonio. Then you come back home and be able to take on Fort Valley. Uh, talk about how the schedule is set up, and then towards the end of the season, you have you finally taken on your Western Division opponents at the end of October into November. Well, it's tough. You know, it's a tough season to begin, tough non-conference schedule. Guys got to be ready to play right out of the bat. You know, you get a chance to come home and play a couple games, and then, you know, our conference is always going to be tough. We got to go to Alcorn, go to Jackson. You know, we always got uh, the Tigers in the Classic. You know, then we get a chance to take on PV at home. So the schedule is full of opportunities for us, but we got to be ready to play well in the beginning. You got to stay healthy. The ball got to bounce your way. And guys just got to understand it's a long process. You got to chop wood and carry water, and hopefully we'll be able to do that enough to get us enough of wins. And talk about the chop wood, carry water. That's been the, the theme going into the season. Well, it's about falling in love with the process to become great. The millennial generation don't understand process, don't like process. But at the end of the day, no matter what you're going to achieve in life, you got to go through a process. And we're about teaching our guys the process of the day-to-day -day business. And we just narrowed that down to chop wood, carry water. It was a book we had a chance to read. I really try to, to touch on the mindset of it because this game is 90% mental. We can be locked in mentally. We're going to have some good plays. We're going to have some bad plays. But if our guys play the next play, we got a chance to be successful. And last question, everybody's looking forward to the Bayou Classic with Grambling. What's their expectation this year? Well, 70-plus thousand to be there, and the team that plays well is going to win. Uh, we didn't play very well last year. We didn't win. So at the end of the day, I think we got a chance to be successful if we do the things that our young men have been asked to do. Now this weekend, coming up on Friday, the Southern University Athletic Department will be putting on a SU football extravaganza Friday, September the 1st at 7 p.m. at the F.G. Clark Activity Center. So definitely get a chance to come out if you're not and enjoy yourselves with people like Willie Clayton as well as the SU Pep Band to be there. Uh, definitely going to be one to come for ticket information as you see in reserve a table called 225-771-3171. And so, uh, you know, we want to thank you for joining us this week here at the Jaguar Football Show. You know, you can always catch the show and as well as come out to Martha's Bistro next week located at 19900 Scenic Highway here in Zachary, Louisiana. Uh, it's been a pleasure to be here with you coach as always and so I want to thank you you know and we'll see you next week. Thank you. It's the Jaguar Football Show. Go Jays!